Trail, this is Mr. Evans with your daily Wildcat Wire News. Today is Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you a Gilmore Girls fan? Because I know I am. To all my fellow Gillies out there, we want to say happy birthday to Lorelai herself, Lauren Graham. Today we'll have more winds with considerable cloudiness and a high of about 49 degrees. Congratulations to Bailey Vidanovic for correctly answering the youngest golfer to win a USGA tournament at age 13 was Michelle Wee in June of 2003. Wee has since won five LGPA tournaments that includes a major title at the 2014 US Women's Open. She has close to $7 million of career earnings since turning pro in 2009. Maya Shaka is the latest trailbla trailblazing woman in the NFL. Shaka was added to the NFL roster of game officials for the 2021 season, becoming the first black woman in league history to be named to the NFL's officiating staff. I am honored to be selected as an NFL official, Shaka said in a statement, but this moment is bigger than personal accomplishment. It's an accomplishment for all women, my community, and my culture. A health and physical education teacher in the Virginia Beach public school system, Shaka joins the NFL after working at the collegiate level, including stints in the Pacific 12 Conference and Conference USA. Maya's years of hard work, dedication, and perseverance have earned her a position as an NFL official, Troy Vincent Sr., NFL Executive Vice President of Football Operations said. As we celebrate Women's History Month, Maya is a trailblazer as the first black female official and a role model for so many people. For our young women, who we hope can see what she has been able to accomplish because of her commitment to her, her career, both as a teacher and in athletics, to our African-American students, she's an inspiration. We're just so proud of her. This is one of my favorite times of the year on the sports calendar with the men's and women's college basketball tournament starting later this week. Michelle Wee, the answer to my trivia question from last week, graduated from Stanford University, which enters the women's tournament as this year as one of the top teams in the country. The Stanford Cardinal have won two national championships in their program's history, but the college team with the most has 11. So your question for this week, what women's college basketball team has won the most national championships of all time? If you filled out the survey and you are planning on trying out for boys soccer or girls volleyball, you need to have an updated physical on file in the office. You also need to complete the online COVID sign-off form and the online concussion form. These three forms need to be done and on file by Friday, March 19th. In addition, in order to make the team, you need to participate in both days of tryouts. The entire schedule for season two is on the school webpage under athletics. Please contact Ms. Bishop if you have any questions. Looking for something new to read? Don't forget our library Google Classroom has Reader's Advisory Form. You can fill out this form to have a list of books handpicked for you by Ms. Ferris and Ms. Sweeten. If you already filled out a Reader's Advisory Form, you can do it again with a different genre or with a different request. They can't wait to help you find your perfect book. Speaking of books, you should definitely have one checked out over spring break. Put in your request this week to make sure your books are ready for next week. Your brains need a break, and reading, is some, and reading is something new is exactly what you need. If you don't remember how to put a book on hold, check out the step-by-step -step instructions on the school website or in the library Google Classroom. Attention to all Battle of the Books competitors. We meet again today at 1.35 to go over expectations and work with our teams. Attendance is optional, but highly encouraged. You can access our Zoom meeting through your email from Ms. Ferris or through the Battle of the Books Google Classroom. That about wraps it up for us here today. 
Remember that today is an A day, so be sure that you attend your A day encore classes. Thank you again for watching, and remember to start each day with a positive attitude, face new challenges, and as always, rise above.